All right, this week's market volatility could once again be changing Wall Street's thinking about the next move uh, from the Federal Reserve. And Steve Leisman uh, joins us now with more. I, I don't know. The, the economic data was so good yesterday, wasn't it? Well, Let's, the consumer side. It's consumer side. That's right. what I mean, yeah. And, and Joe, just a quick note. Becky's right. Uh, we just mm. did break below two on the 30-year. About 7.45 right. this morning. I didn't Earlier see any before. news, but if you guys put up the chart, it's kind of a straight down kind of thing. Um, I, I didn't see the uh, 210 invert. It's still positive by a very healthy two basis points. That's, <laughs> that's economic sarcasm. Uh, the market thinking hard about how the Fed will react to all this, and the Fed is thinking hard, too. They're trying to process all the cross currents, strong consumers and decent U.S. growth versus weak manufacturing, weak global growth, and market signals of recession warnings. Here's the way the market is currently pricing in the Federal Reserve. These are CME uh, probabilities, 100% chance of a quarter point in September, 82% chance of another quarter in October, 56% chance of, a, of another one in December. So really pricing in 75 basis points of rate cuts by the end of the year. I get a nod of approval from Rick. We'll be back to him in a second. I do want to break down September a little more closely because there is some talk about a 50 basis point cut. About a one-third chance right now, maybe one-quarter to one-third chance of a 50 basis point cut. Uh, some other calculations, by the way, have that a little higher, more towards 40, but we're not in the 50 percent range here. I think that's where I would Wait a second. Say, I thought you said it was 100 percent chance. Why does that say Right. 25? So add those two together. Oh, oh, so the chance of a 25. So everybody I'm glad you asked 25. that, Becky. I didn't understand. I need to know what people understand. You're absolutely right. So it's 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 100 percent chance of a cut with a 72 percent chance of a 25 okay. and a 28 percent chance okay. of a 50. Those two, I think it's early in the morning, but they add up to 100. Fed Chairman Jerome Powell has made clear that he takes market pricing into account. The recent flatness and brief inversion of the 210, the continued, by the way, inversion of the three month 10 year are going to work into his outlook. But so will the strong economic data. And we're going to get a really good feel for the Fed's outlook next week in our coverage live from Jackson Hole, Wyoming. Mm. Tune in to CNBC. We will have several very special guests. The annual gathering in the mountains, my opinion, taking on new importance. It's always something. I can't believe it's that it's time of the year. It's weird, right? It's Maybe just because August really is so volatile and then all of a sudden. I don't, I don't think they plan it that way. It's not the concept of the meeting. It's supposed to be a take a step back, think about the academic stuff, these long papers are presented, and the world is swirling around them. Plus, I think the added importance to this, uh, getting to the thing that the horse that Joe has been riding for several weeks now, the differential between the U.S. and the rest of the world, yeah. there will be s many foreign central bankers there, and they're going to have a chance to talk and see if they have some way not of solving easy, this problem. Not easy to ride a dead horse, either. I didn't say dead. I said no, the, but the I've horse been beating it. To, no, it's, I've killed it. Yeah, <laughs>